Floating skyscrapers in the sky Run to the house before we die Hey there team, what is going on? It is Nick Nack here. Welcome back to another episode of IndieCraft. This is episode 94 in season 3. And today, we're going to be doing a request from Azure, who asked us to build Wheatley from Portal 2. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build him in creative mode up in the sky battle. And it should be pretty fun. So for those of you who don't know what Wheatley is, he's a character from Portal 2. And he uh, starts out in the beginning uh, as kind of like your guide tutorial character. And it becomes something a little more important uh, later on in the story. Uh, I won't spoil everything for you, but uh, he is pretty cool, uh, to say the least. So we're going to go ahead and add him. Uh, we're going to put him over here on this side of the battle. So let's go ahead and put him up here. I mean, Portal 2 has been out some time, so obviously there's going to be some spoilers uh, that I will be having to give away in this episode, unfortunately. Because, like, I'm building him on the bad guy side of the, side of the battle. And now you're asking yourself, oh, is Wheatley a bad guy? Huh? Should I be concerned? Well, you should be. You should be. Take everything carefully when you're talking to Wheelie. You may not be. Okay, so what we're going to be doing uh, is trying to make an eye shape here. I'm going to start with like kind of a circle. Uh, we're going to kind of build him. And we could make we could make him any other personality cubes from the game. But I'm just going to go ahead. Wheatley's more interesting. So we're going to make a good circle here. So one, two, three, four, uh, two, three. It's maybe a little too big for what I'm working with here. So um, it's going to work. Mm, I think that'll work. Yeah, that should work. This should work. So, one, two, three. All right, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, it's easier to work with odd numbers. So let's go ahead and make this one longer here. There we go. All righty. Cool. Anyhow, yeah, Portal 2 is a really good game. If you don't have it and you haven't played it, I recommend check checking it out. It'll be on Steam. It's, like, on sale all the time. So go ahead and wait for, like, a sale, like the summer sale or Christmas sale next year. It's like, it's always on sale. It's ridiculous. This game, it, it, you could get it. Most of the Valve games are that way. So, it's it's easy to pick up, and it's a really, really great game. It's worth the money. Uh, even if you buy it for its full, like, what, 20 bucks now, probably? I don't know how much it costs anymore. So, it's a great, great game. Uh, there's also, like, a really fun co-op to it. So, if you don't have it, check it out. Alright, what did I do wrong? Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. There we go. There we go. Alright, anyhow, so earlier on this week, I launched a brand new series of, like, my favorite game ever. I think I mentioned it in Monday's episode of IndieCraft. Uh, a game called Shining Force. Uh, it's an old game for the Sega Genesis. It is a fantastic game. So, uh, if you do have time, go ahead and check that series out. It'll be a link to it at the end of this video. And also, I'll try to run and put one in the description down below. However, sometimes I forget stuff like that. So, hopefully I didn't. Alright, let's go ahead and try to add a little depth to this thing. It's going to be a little tough. Uh, because it's not it's not the easiest uh, actually that should be further back if anything right um, no let's make the circle all at the same level whatever uh, now we're gonna need some white and I didn't get any white out but uh, we'll probably use hmm we could use diorite uh, that'll yeah that'll have probably more of a wheatly look to it so all right this that's kind of like inset is the thing and this just kind of, this bulges out from the front of it. So, he's really going to be hard to do. He's actually a circle. Um, his shape, Wheatley. So, I think I'm going to change this up just a little bit. I think I'm going to make this center section. So, I think it's stick out three. Maybe I should go one more. Even. How's that look? Yeah, I think just three. But, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give that more roundness. The more roundness, the better. So, alright. Let's go and knock that out. Hmm. Anyways. So, yeah. Shining Force, uh... Brand new series. It's a very old game, so uh, it's a little different. Uh, it's an old, 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 old style RPG. I think kind of like 1993. So it's a it uh you get thrown into this world. I, I can't even remember what the world's called right now. Uh, the only thing that's coming to mind is the evil villain uh, from thousand years in the past, Dark Dragon, has been resurrected, uh, and he's coming back to kill everyone. So I, I don't know why I've just forgotten the name of everything. Uh, the city is like Guardiana or whatever, and. Uh, basically, you play as a character, uh, and you put together this team of warriors, essentially, and you have to go kill Dark Dragon. Uh, and it's kind of like just the most awesome thing ever. Mm, it may be a little cheesy, maybe a little cheesy, but the story, the story's good. The characters are really fun, and it's just like it's just a really good old game. It's made like a billion sequels apparently too, so um, which is not really a good thing. I have not played any of the sequels to that game. 
Uh, I'm a really bad fan of this game. I say it's my favorite game ever, yet I've yet to go play a sequel of it. So, anyhow, it is it is a cool, cool series. Uh, I'm really excited to get it going here. So, we just started Monday, so it's, it's just begun. And so, if you missed an episode, you can go back and watch it before the next episode, which will be out next Monday. So, anyhow, there's like my trailer for that series. It's a really, it's gonna be a really good series. Uh, I'm already excited. I made a few mistakes in the first episode, editing wise. Uh, and recording wise, I want to fix that up next episode, uh, and so hopefully it'll go, things will go just a bit, a bit smoother for you guys, so, anyhow, so, yeah, that's, that is a thing that is happening, and I recommend you check it out if you want to be a cool person, so, if you don't want to be a cool person, that's fine too, I mean, I will be judging you, and it will be, it will be not nice, to say the least, so, anyhow, but, uh, tomorrow, there's also going to be the start of another new series, it's a little more of a mainstream game, I'm keeping it secret, uh, I promised the person I'm doing it with, that we're going to keep it a secret till we begin. So, it is a game. It's a very popular game. Uh, I'm guessing most people that are subscribed have at least heard of it. Uh, and if you have heard of it, you may have even played it. Because a lot of people play this series. So, uh, it is a series of games. Uh, it is a... We're going to play it co-op. And uh, what I can tell... What I can tell, the way we're playing this game... I don't see it anywhere on YouTube. Which has just blown my mind, like... You would think everything would have been done by now, but no. I have not seen this series at all on YouTube, which makes me even more excited, because if it hasn't been done, uh, being the first to do it makes it uber cool to me, at least. So, that is coming up just tomorrow morning at 2 p.m. GMT. At least, that's the time I decided I was going to put it out. I haven't actually talked to Rory yet. Rory from Lemon Co. is who I'm doing it with. So, it's going to be one of the coolest series on my channel ever. Like, I'm, I'm like having mixed excitement between it and Shining Force, because... I love Shining Force already, and it is like my favorite game ever, but I have not done this type of series before, like what I'm doing uh, for the tomorrow's series, so and that'll be out every Saturday. There's going to be kind of a weird release schedule since we're both putting it out, um, and we'll explain that all in the video tomorrow, but it's going to be, it's just going to be an incredible series. Like, I am so pumped to get that going, and we recorded it, and I was like screaming like a little girl, it felt, felt like, and of course that, now I'm going to be called sexist, but whatever. So, like, it was just, it was incredible. It was just incredible. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab I'm going with some light blue and some, ooh, that's too dark. Uh, where's dark blue? Some dark blue wool here. And we want to make a circle in the middle here. So, we'll put the, that, make that the center. And it kind of, well, actually, let's go ahead and make all this the center here. And we'll go ahead and make the next row further back here. And we're not going to bother uh, shaping the whole thing. Actually, you're not going to see the inside of this guy anyway. So, there we go. All right, how's that look for the front here? Does that look round? Oh, yeah. That's a good weedly look, I think. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, we'll go ahead, knock this out here. Bring that all that down. And let's go ahead, bring his whole eye forward. I feel like that was too far inset. So let's go ahead and bring all that forward. And like this. And I don't know why I broke out that bottom part. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. There we go. That's better. And let's go ahead. Uh, maybe I should darken that up. I don't know. Maybe it looks good. Maybe it looks good. It looks fine. All right. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this part out, and I, I suck that in, but I actually want to stick this out, I think. Uh, and then we'll break that row out. And we'll make all this whole wrap around here, make that all the dark gray. Yeah, like that. And then we'll go ahead and make that dark gray too. This isn't, this isn't exactly how he looks, but I think it makes it a little easier to tell what he is from here. Alright, cool. So that's going to be that side. Okay, now we need to make the other sides of the circle. So, to make this work... This is, this is a bit tough to do. He's he's really big, and I made I made him absolutely gigantic. So uh, if we get much beyond this face and he still looks good, I'm gonna be pretty proud of myself because it is this is not the easiest build I've ever done. So all right, how to do how to do this? So we want to make the white kind of wrap around a little further. It's a little bit bigger uh, the the white part of the circle than uh, the gray. There's like a gray line that goes around, which is what I started with to make the face of him. Because uh, I figured if I got the face right. As long as I had that, uh, it wouldn't be too bad. Because uh, most time, when you look at him, you're going to be seeing him from the face. So, if the back looks a bit goofy, uh, I'll be able to get over it. I hope you guys can get over it, too. So, I think now it's about time to get to the... Question, question of the day! day. Oh, yeah. Question of the day. Alright, today's question of the day is what is your favorite character from a video game? And let's go with, like characters that aren't like well known from other things like if you play a lord of the rings game and you might like aragorn it might be your favorite character let's go with characters that aren't like from other well-known franchises that aren't adapted if they're from a video game 
or like you know matrix games let's let's try not to do those let's see like what is your favorite character like from a video game like could be mario um if he doesn't have much of a personality I mean, he does i'm gonna get so much hate now for saying that um but whatever i'll get over it and mario could be could be one uh luigi you know um uh whatever snake uh, i'm, I'm kind of stuck on like console games right now could be like bastila from knights of republic and stuff like that it's, it could be whatever game you want whatever character you want from a video game it could be from a franchise if you want to i, I said let's try to avoid that but if you if that's what you're feeling that you want to do then i'm not going to judge you for it i am going to judge you for it but uh, that does not stop you from doing it so if you want to do it go for it that'd be cool to get some answers uh, I don't really know who my favorite character from a video game is. I thought really long and hard about this before I started doing this episode. And that's why one of the reasons I stuck with the question. Because I figured it would be an interesting question to hear from you guys. Like, who is your favorite character from a video game? Because I couldn't even think of a character. that I have characters that I like, but I don't know. Like, calling them my favorite. Are you going to start assuming things about me? Like, what kind of person I am? Based off this, I thought I thought way too into the question. Most likely, but it was, it was interesting, to say the least. Because I couldn't think of anyone that, like, I was just, like, love so much. I mean, I would call someone from Shining Force my favorite. Like, I really like Gort. And I really, I really like Luke, too, in Shining Force. But I don't know, like, I don't want to bash the game. But, like, you don't get enough dialogue with people, I feel like, to really, like, feel like you love them and, like, your favorite character ever from a game. I don't really feel like that one really fits. All right, I just built this, like, straight around this way. Yeah, okay. So there's no gray ring on this side. It's just, and there is one, but it's much further in, so... And I, I don't really know exactly how the sides look, and I'm not going to pay too close of attention while building them. And I, I could just, like, build a side here, use World Edit to finish up the other sides. That'd be a really, really good idea uh, to save me from hours and hours of torture of building this guy perfectly. Uh, I'm going to get uh, raged at it anyway, so... It, it's the creative build, so... Which is a bit of a different episode for me anyway. I haven't always done creative builds, so... Anyhow, there are characters that I really love in video games. Uh, and I've, I've loved for a long time, but I... Any of them to be my favorite... I don't know. I like Mission a lot from Knights of the Republic. She's hilarious. Uh, she's definitely would be up there with one of my favorite characters ever in a video game. Um, other than that, I don't really know. I, I like Gord a lot in Shining Force. He's funny. Uh, he's entertaining. All right. How do I do this one? All right. This one. Let's go ahead and bring all this in. I didn't do it on the other side, so it might make a bit of a weird shape, but I'll get over it. So if I can get over it, you can get over it. Okay. Uh, like this. So I don't know. It's it's a tough question. So I thought it'd be interesting to hear some of your guys' responses and get, make you think hard. Or maybe you won't have to think hard. Maybe this will be like super easy for all you guys. You'll be like, oh, duh, my favorite character is this guy from X game, you know? And I'm like, okay, fine. Uh, you're such a pro, and I'm a noob. So whatever. If that if that's the way it is, and that's fine too. If you like, if you just know right off the bat who your favorite character from a game is, that's cool too. And if it could be like a main character like Mario or something, that, that's cool too. I mean. But, like, my only, like, thing about that, like, I don't still know about a lot of dialogue with those guys, you know? Or a lot, and Mario does have a lot of dialogue, I guess, but, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I feel like he wouldn't count. I don't know. He should count just as well as anyone else, I feel like, I guess. I mean, when I say it, one, on one hand, I feel like he should. On one hand, I feel like he shouldn't, so I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and use, oops, not this. Where's my dark gray? Use my, no, maybe I should use light gray. No, let's see. Maybe I should, I'm going to use the diorite. Yeah, let's use it. All right, this is kind of a different part of it. Uh, and I don't, I can't really see in a lot of detail, uh, based off the reference picture that I have, uh, how good this is going to be, but I try to use reference pictures, like, minimally in this series. Like, I have one open if I wanted to look at it, but I try to, like, do it from memory, even though I know sometimes it leads to me not getting a perfect representation of the build, uh, sometimes I feel like it works good, so. I forgot to mention, again, oh my gosh, I'm such, such a moron, but the point of this whole freaking series is uh, that you guys leave a suggestion in the comment section below. And I try to my best to build whatever that suggestion is uh, in the next episode. So uh, the next episode is going to be on Monday. We release Mondays and Fridays now. So if you want to leave a suggestion down below uh, for me to build in the next episode, please do if you're new. So if you don't know what it is or if you're not new, I mean, go ahead. Leave a suggestion down below. Something in the next episode I could build. I'm always looking for new ideas. We're almost wrapped up with this season. So make it as big as you want, guys. Like, hey, that actually worked. I'm not, I'm not totally ashamed of do building that. Hey. I'm pretty happy. All right, let's go ahead. Did I, do I want to build this out like that? I think so. All right, we're going to have to make the circle. I'll probably work on the circle parts last, actually. We'll build all the faces and then do that last. So, all right, let's build the top. Because that will be a serious challenge. So, out two. And then, all right, we can leave all those pieces. 
So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna make this work, but out two and out two. Oh, look at that. Hey, I'm perfect. So there's gonna be this three faces this thing, so it's pretty crazy looking, to say the least. So if I can build it if I can build this thing accurately at all, I'm gonna be pretty proud of myself. Even if it's like if like my goal with builds, if you're new, uh, and you did I haven't said this today like a million times already, my goal with builds is always to build it to where if you looked at it, you thought, Oh, it's you know, it's Link from Legend of Zelda or it's, it's Wheatley, you know, from Portal. Uh, if, even if you think, oh, that is the crappiest Link I've ever seen. If your mind goes, oh, it's Link, I feel like I've done my job. Like, if you could think of what it is for that, uh, that is pretty darn good, you know? For me, at least. I feel like I've accomplished a goal that you have, you have looked at it and you thought of what I wanted you to think of. So, even if you thought it was crap, you thought of what it was. Uh, and that is something. And that is enough for me. So, especially working with builds this big. Uh, I wouldn't say that's my forte. I really like... I really like building buildings. I uh, like and I like, can do interior decorating stuff on Minecraft. It's really fun. So that I kind of enjoy that kind of stuff. I feel like I'm pretty good at that kind of stuff. Uh, it's when it comes to, like large scale, especially big cities and everything. Because I, I like uh, I feel like it's a cool challenge to make things not repetitive. Uh, whenever you're doing big thing and make things not like big, ugly, and plain, you know, which is kind of a problem. Like you build something big and it's like lots of times they turn out being super ugly and plain. So actually, these corners are gonna be super easy if we build every face. So. Look at that. I think he actually is going to have a pretty nice round shape to him. Oh, look at that. All right, so there's like a cutout here. We're going to build that. Well, we'll, we'll do the cutout last, actually. Uh, all right, so now the head does something weird here. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, so I might just go ahead and just wrap up the top of the circle. I think I am because, like, I don't I don't know if I can do it. And it ended up just looking really goofy and stupid if I try to do it at all. Uh, and it would be best for me to just build it as it is. In. And we'll be happy. You guys can hopefully get over and forgive me for this, so... All right, let's wrap up this top here, and then we just have the bottom, and then the two big handles, and we're good. Oh, we have, we have two more sides, too, um, aside from that, you know. Uh, I don't know about the back. I have no idea what the back of this thing looks like, uh, so we're just going to build kind of like a plain white white circle there. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and fill this whole area in with gray, uh, because I want this to be dark down inside of him, look dark inside of him, in case you are looking in. Although, we could actually have to look inside. You know, that'd be cool. Let's leave, let's not do that. Let's let, let if you, like, if you did fly above it and you want to look inside, that'd be pretty cool. Alright, so we'll do one more face, maybe, maybe two more. Uh, we'll see how this looks. I don't, I don't like it when things look goofy, like if they, I don't want it to look pyramid-y when you get to the top. Like, I want it to have, like, a round look to it still, so. Uh, if I can have that, we'll be, we'll be all set. So, this is the first real face that I'm finishing, because the first one I had to put the eye in. Alright, what are we looking like from here? Alright, I think this is good. We'll make this the top here. So, we'll fill all this in here with quartz or uh diorite is what i'm using so uh looks a little better than the quartz i think uh for this particular build because he kind of has a grungy look to him uh because he's part of the old aperture science facility now uh, once you get into the game he's been a little beat up so please ignore the cat like moaning to death behind me uh all right all right mr wheatley uh we're gonna make a cutout here it's gonna go one two and then we're gonna make it go three wide through the top here actually let's go ahead and leave that in there just to give it a little more framework here all right, we're going to bring this cut out all the way back. And I, like I said, I don't know exactly what it's going to do uh, once it does get to the back. So we're just going to cut out one, two, and we'll cut out there and there. That's how we did it up front. So one, two, there and there. Sweet. All right, that looks pretty good. Uh, it, may, it may cut out a little sooner than that on the actual build, on the actual guy, but whatever. Uh, representation, 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 uh, whatever. That word. That word that I'm struggling saying right now for no apparent reason. So the, the big one. Representation. There we go. That was easy that time. And we really just have a few more faces here, and we'll be all set for this build. It's going to be pretty cool. So thank you, Azure, for suggesting this. Um, I actually do have like a little bit of a series going with Azure right now. Uh, we started playing Diversity 2 like back in November, probably. And I got swamped over Christmas. I think I told you guys a little bit last time, kind of everything, how that went. Uh, over Christmas, get Getty videos done and how awful life was for that short period of time. So uh, that, was, that was crazy. So... Uh, but yeah, I started a series with them back then. Okay, what did I do wrong? Oh, there we go. Figured it out. That's all wrong. Alright, there we go. This messed up on the alignment here, so this goes out. Three, and now we're good. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. Anyhow, I started, we started playing through Diversity 2. We're, uh, the bit, for some bits are on my channel, and, uh, once we get back and actually get the chance to record with each other again, uh, there'll be more bits, uh, going up on their channel, too. So, which would be really sweet. So, uh, we're going to put, it's obviously the same point of view on both videos. Not the same point of view, the same, uh, footage on both channels. 
So I, I don't know if any of you, probably because we're both small channels, uh, probably if you're here you haven't heard of Azure unless you've just gone over from one of my videos. Uh, and so, or if you came over from one of their videos and you're like checking me out because that you saw my video with them, that's cool too. So welcome to the team. Uh, if you are new uh, at all, and not just if you came from their channel, welcome to the team. Um, it's great to have you here. And so if you comment down below, I always reply to comments, especially from new people. So, uh, yeah, I, I shouldn't say I always reply to comments. I almost always reply to comments. Like 90% of comments I always reply to. I reply to. So, all right. There we go. All right, we're all framed in except for the bottom. So, to the bottom in here. And we'll be all set on the framework here. And we can just start doing, filling it in. And we want to basically make a duplicate of this side on the other side here. Which would look good. And then we want to, that way there's a hole on both sides. I don't know if there actually is a hole like that on both sides. But uh, for the sake of this build and me not having a picture up of the other side. And me not really like wanting to follow a picture that much. I like feeling free. And I like being free and creative. Uh, free to let my creativity creativity flow. I don't know why I'm having trouble with words. It's probably because I chose to record like not long after I got up. Which sucks. Okay. There we go. It's, it's actually, I'm pretty happy. This may be one of my better circles I've ever made. Alright, so how did I do this? Did I always do the inset way, or did I always do, ever do it do the edge? I always do the inset way, so. We're gonna hop over here, and we're just gonna go in here and start framing this whole big boy in, so. Uh, once we get all this filled in, and I don't know what we're doing for the back. I'll probably just make a plain circle for the back. Uh, regardless, you'll be, you'll probably be viewing this battle, the giant space battle from the town, so. Oh, it's important to note if you're still with this video at this point, that, uh, whenever you are leaving a suggestion in the comments, uh, remember, I don't always do a build in creative mode. I sometimes do it in survival mode. Every Monday is survival mode, and some Fridays are going to be survival mode still, too. Just kind of depends on what I'm feeling like that day. So don't mess that up. I almost messed up my whole build there. That would have been awful. Everything would have been thrown off a block. Would have been uber confusing. Never would have been able to understand what was going on again. That would have been awful. Okay. So frame this in. I think this was the last row that I framed in over there. And then I think I did the dark. And I did the. Uh, uh, what's this stuff called again? Andesite. And I really like how Andesite looks. Holy crap. Andesite and Diorite are the greatest additions. And granite looks okay. Uh, it's just not that the block doesn't look good. I just don't have a lot of use for like more like reddish colored blocks in Minecraft. I think we have like enough of that actually. Like reddish orange look. Eh. It's, it's happened before. But like the more grays and stuff I really appreciate. Uh, that is that is great. Because mm, I like I like doing a lot of shading. So, Alright. So I built this gray in right on that level. And then I stacked the uh, Andesite over on top of it. Right? Yes, and I just said that, and I did not frame it the same way. Okay, so we're going to fill all of this with the dark gray wool. We're going to do that before. That'll be easier to place the end aside, actually, after we do this. So, which would be sweet to save save myself some life. So, anyhow, um, so everything else on the channel, I didn't really go over this this episode. Uh, I kind of use IndieCraft for my news show, because it's, like, one of my most viewed series, so... Everything else on the channel is going to continue as normal. Uh, the only thing important to bring up is Tombstone applications. I think uh, I'm closing them up today. Uh, so if you haven't applied, uh, now might be your last opportunity. So uh, is today the 9th or the 8th? I think today's the 9th. Uh, I don't really remember. I have my phone right here. I can just take a peek. Today's the 9th. Yeah, so actually we have one more day. Uh, but tomorrow, uh, Tombstone applications will be closed. So if you are interested in becoming part of a Minecraft SMP, uh, with other YouTubers, if you are a YouTuber yourself, uh, now is the time to go apply. Uh, because after today, it's gonna be over. After today, um... Uh, my, my, I try to remember that song from Goofy Movie. Uh, after today, you know what I'm talking about? After today, I'm gonna be cruising. Uh, after today, I'll be flying. That one, that one, yeah. I mean, probably the only one getting that reference, but whatever. Uh, it's a good song, uh, need to say. But, uh, after today, that would be your, it's, it's, this is your last opportunity. So if you want to become a part of a Minecraft SMP, the application might take, Heck, five minutes to do it most. That'd be that'd be a long time, I feel like. But it might take five minutes uh, if you want to read over it really carefully. Uh, be careful what you're signing your soul into, of course. So, anyhow, that is uh, that is coming up soon. Uh, Tombstone, the server will be getting a bit of a reset uh, between now and then. Uh, but episodes are going to continue out at their normal rate. I still have uh, from the holy crap that huge session I recorded with Mr. Adam from Lemon Co. Uh, if you've been keeping up with that series at all, that huge session I recorded with him. Uh, that I still have lots of footage left over from so that might be out for another two weeks or so Tombstone is going to be out Sundays and it'll also be out uh, the Saturdays that we don't have the Super I almost said the name of it. Holy crap. The super secret new series coming out. So, you know uh, And all right, let's get this placed in all right corners are all done. Did I do every corner? There we go. All right. How is this looking from like a side here? 
And we, this is the only side we have done. Oh yeah, it looks like a nice circle. I may have I may have pointed the top a little too much. It looks a little weird, to be honest. Okay. All right, so the bottom kind of has like a cutout like the top. Should we shall we imitate the top when we do the bottom? I think we should. So how did I do the top? Uh, I want in. So from the first layer, this be the first one, right? Yeah. So I just brought it in, in, all right, just like that every time. So uh, what I'm doing when I'm saying that, like I brought it in, uh, is what I'm looking at is uh, see, like sometimes I do corners like that. All right, and then sometimes I do corners. You probably realize this already, but I'm gonna go ahead and explain it. Uh, I'm not the greatest builder ever, and sometimes I do corners like that, where I wrap around and make it go in. It makes it go in a little more. It also gives it a little more of a round look most of the time. So uh, that's something I just like. I do it differently from time to time, depending on what look I'm going for. So we're just gonna imitate pretty much exactly what we have on top. So oopsies, and that's what I, that's the block I placed earlier. I placed it wrong like that. And I was worried I was gonna mess up the whole build because of it. If I got that one block off. Uh, then everything would be set up wrong, and the whole world would end very hastily, and it wouldn't be that sad. I mean, this would just kind of be like one of those endings, like, everyone was, like, chillaxing in the afterlife, you know? And I was like, yeah, <sighs> I killed everyone because I misplaced a block in Minecraft. Uh, half the world would, of course, be like, what the crap is in Minecraft? And the rest of them would be like, oh, I feel your pain, buddy. It's okay. And then it would be over. You know, or maybe not half the world, maybe a third of the world would be like, I feel your pain. And then, uh, and then a third of them would be like, what the crap is Minecraft? And then a third of them would be like, you so dumb, you so dumb. And they would, they would never understand because they don't play cool games. So, alright, how far did I bring this in? Is this the last layer right here? Yeah, that was the last layer. So we're going to go ahead and bring it down one more. Uh, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I won't do it that much. Uh, I know it would be a little inconsistent with the top and bottom, but I, I feel like it would look better if I cut it off here, so. And maybe maybe I can go back in the future. Uh, I say this a lot with builds. I can go back in the future off camera and edit it, but it, eh, what the heck, I probably will. Uh, I, I like not messing with things off camera. And it's not because I'm lazy, because I really could go ahead and do it off camera. Uh, it's just that I do not want to. Like, I feel like once I've filmed it, it should be, it's like, I mean, in this instant, instant, instance, it really is set in stone. Uh, and I really feel like I shouldn't mess with it off camera, because you guys tune in to watch me build something and uh or maybe probably more so for my commentary but you know you tune in for that and i, I don't want to like screw with it off camera uh because then like why would you guys bother tuning in if i was just going to make changes off camera uh it's not really about having the most beautiful town ever though i like having a nice looking town and i think we've done a pretty good job at that you guys and i so uh but it is about like the interaction mostly and that is the best reason for this series so also why we're at like nearly episode 300 i think and it's still probably the most popular thing on my channel which is cool because there is like a lot of viewer interaction with culture users, uh, which is really good. It is really good, and I like it the most too, uh, simply for that reason. Because I don't have any other series right now that I do have that much interaction, and I like my other series, but I love the interaction between with you and you and me, you and I cuddling. Um, so let's go ahead and knock this out. And how many do we want to go? I think we'll do this layer, and then we'll make the next one the flat one. So. There you go, and it should be good. Wheatley, I'm pretty happy with. So let's put some sort of identification on here for Azure. Uh, usually I do signs. I'm not exactly sure. I might go ahead and put it in the eye, actually, because that'd be somewhere where people would like. If you're messing around this build in the future, people might want to fly in there and check it out. So, all right, let's get in, and there we go. All right, all good. And then we want to bring this layer out one more, and this will be the last layer of this build. So we'll just go ahead and bring this all up. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Bam. Yeah, I'm good. I'm doing it right. I, was, I got a little confused there for a second. I was like, uh, this is gonna look good. So you're gonna look good at all. So remember guys, if you are watching now, uh, if you're still watching, I know this has been a long, long episode, so I'm sure most people have clicked off the video by now and lost interest. But if you are watching now, first of all, comment uh flying flamingo mongoose. Uh fling flying flamingo mongoose in the comment section below. And that's what I said. So uh, go ahead and comment that in the comment section below. That'd be super cool, you. Uh, just to let me know that you're still watching. That someone, uh, it, it made me feel good at least. Uh, that someone stuck through to the end of this video. Uh, at least one person, which would be great. Uh, and if you didn't, that's cool too, uh, because you're not watching this. So I'm, you know what? Everyone who didn't watch to the end of this video, you're all ugly. Uh, and of course, they don't get to know this because they didn't watch the end of this video. But for those of you who did watch, I'm not calling you ugly. So I'm safe. I'm safe. Like I can safely insult. All those people that made me mad. You know, I don't even like you people that clicked off. I said it. I'm not afraid because you don't you don't get to see this. Of course, someone's gonna make like a fan video of this, uh, which would probably be like the coolest thing ever, actually. But uh, and upload it, and then uh, everyone will know. Everyone will watch this like 30 second video of me just insulting you all. All right, let's go ahead and hide some glowstone right here. 
Uh, actually, what we could do is place it there. Uh, I think I've done this before several times, but we'll glowstone in there and there. And then glass. We use some, just to make it blend a little better, we use some black glass. That way it's not as noticeable. Cover it up. And there we go. Okay, this doesn't look too hot, uh, this lip here. Uh, whoa, whoa, wrong type. There we go. I'm going to bring that out like this. And we should be good. So there we go, guys. All right, let's go ahead and bring this uh, bit in here a little bit. Make it a little more framed. Look, there we go. Looks even better. And maybe I should wrap it all the way around. Let's go ahead and do it all the way around. Yeah. All right, looks good. Sweet. All righty, guys. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode of Indie Craft. I know it's been quite a bit of a long one. I hope you're all right with that. And I hope you have enjoyed this massive build here from Azure, which we're going to put a sign on. Uh, oh, crap. My sign? Uh, where'd it go? Oh, I, I probably went into my, all my survival stuff, which I was too lazy to put into a chest. All right. Uh, we'll put the sign right here in the middle of the eye, and that'll look weird. Uh, Wheatley uh, from Azure. I think that's how Wheatley spells the name. So, there we go. All right. Well, if you have a joy, don't forget to pound the like button down below. Show your support. And if you're new and you've stuck through this whole thing, that's awesome. Remember to subscribe to join the team so you don't miss out on more episodes of IndieCraft every Monday and Friday and everything else that comes out every single day. So thanks, and I will see you all on Monday. So bye-bye. Yabba-dabba-doo.